My Music Staff is studio management made easy. It helps you manage your students, schedule, billing, and invoicing, and much, much more. It'll automate and streamline all of your unpaid admin work. Plus, My Music Staff can be used to support video lessons and online learning. When you start your free trial, you'll begin by adding your students. Click the Add New button. If you have a spreadsheet of students to upload, you can click on Import Students. Otherwise, you can click on New Student. You only need to enter the student's first and last names. Everything else is optional. If you add a student's email or phone number, you can use this to set up email and SMS reminders. Under Show Additional Details, you can include Skype name, gender, birthdays, and more. If you supply a student's birthday, the calendar and agenda will automatically display their birthday and will calculate their age for you. Next, you can select what status you want the student to have, whether the student is an adult or a child, and whether the student is part of a new family or an existing family. Selecting New Family will prompt the creation of a new family account that can be found in the Families and Invoices tab. Choose the default lesson category, default lesson length, their default billing policies, and the corresponding price for that policy. For example, if your student pays once a month, you can set the price per month. However, if your student pays by lesson, you can set that default as well. If you created a new family, then at this point you will be given the option to set up automatic invoicing. This can also be set up at a later date if you don't have this information available. Click Save and your new student has been successfully added to your studio and you can begin scheduling this student from the calendar. Let's go ahead and schedule this student for a reoccurring weekly lesson. You can add a lesson by clicking on the date itself and selecting Quick Add Lesson. When you select Quick Add Lesson, this is a shortcut to create a new private event with a student's default lesson duration and price. When scheduling a Quick Add Lesson, you can choose the student, the location, and the date and time. To indicate that this is a recurring lesson, select the checkbox that says This Event Repeats. In this example, we want to schedule a weekly lesson, so select the frequency as weekly and fill out the space as recurring every one week. If you do not want this event to repeat indefinitely, deselect this checkbox and set the date you want the event to repeat until, such as the end of the semester or until summer. Otherwise, keep this selected. Click Save. You can now look at the calendar and see your new events. On the day of the lesson, take attendance to let the system know if the student was present. Click on the lesson that you would like to take attendance for and click the Take Attendance button. If you select Present, the lesson is always billable, but you have the option to mark the student as late, manually change the cost, or enter a payment. If you select Absent or Teacher Cancelled, you can choose the appropriate options based on your policies. You can also use this page to record individual lesson notes for the student, their parent, or make a private note for yourself. There is also the option to include online resources or assign new repertoire at this time. The notes can be emailed or accessed through the student portal. Click Save and you're all done! So, you've told the system how much to charge each student for their lessons, and now you've told the system when their lessons are, and you told the system whether they attended their lesson. What you can't see is the system working behind the scenes to calculate how much each student owes you. This is what we call calendar-based billing. Keep your calendar accurate and your billing will be accurate as well. All of this is being calculated in the Families and Invoices menu. You can see here that each student has their own family account. Families with multiple students will be managed from a single account so you can provide them with one invoice that includes everything. Each family account will have its own running balance. This allows you to quickly identify which families owe you money. Let's take a closer look at the Acevedo family. You can see here that each of Malia's lessons automatically generate a $30 charge, just as we set up before. 
You can also manually add transactions for things such as books, recital fees, registration fees, discounts, and anything else that you need to add. To collect these fees, you'll create an invoice. Select the Invoices tab and click the Create Invoice button. First, select your invoice date. This will appear at the top of the invoice. Next, select what transactions you want to include. Including the previous balance will make sure that any unpaid balance or credit from a previous invoice will roll over onto this one. You can invoice at any interval, by week, month, every six weeks, by the term, anything is possible. Setting a due date will indicate to the family when the payment is due. You can set up optional late payment reminders in your business settings. Click Next and choose the level of detail you'd like to include by selecting the appropriate format. Click Create and you have created a new invoice for the Acevedo family. Let's take a look! The invoice shows an itemized list of transactions with a very clear total amount due. You can also upload your studio logo to customize your invoices or use one of My Music staff's available stock logos. You can even change the invoice accent color. In addition to accepting cash or checks, you can accept online payments in My Music Staff. We integrate with Stripe and with PayPal. With this integration, families can pay you from the comfort of their own homes using the Click Here to Pay Online button on their invoice. When an online payment is completed, the payment will automatically be recorded in My Music Staff in their family account. Of course, you're likely not going to want to create invoices one by one for each family. With just a few clicks, you can invoice in bulk. Better yet, you can automate the process entirely by using the auto invoicing feature. To set this up, select the families that you want set up with this feature and click on the auto invoicing dropdown and select enable auto invoicing. Once you fill in the appropriate scheduling and design settings, the system will automatically create and send invoices on your behalf. If you're accepting online payments, you can enable the auto-pay feature as well. Your invoices will be generated, emailed, and instantly paid without you or your families needing to do a thing. No more chasing down payments. Speaking of finances, you can also keep track of your studio expenses in My Music Staff from the Expenses and Other Revenue page. The benefit of recording your expenses here is that the system is already aware of your teaching revenue. At the end of the year, you can visit the Business Reports page to create a Revenue and Expenses report. Send this off to your accountant, and tax season is done! Finally, let's take a look at your home agenda. This takes all of the information you've entered into the system and gives you a concise overview of your day. You can see that there are three lessons scheduled. Each lesson displays the start and end time, the lesson type, and where it's taking place. It will also show you which student or students are attending, and what repertoire you've assigned them that they're working on. With each lesson, you can click the View Recent Notes button to review the notes you recorded at their last lesson. While taking attendance for a lesson, you'll have the option to leave individual lesson notes for the student, parent, and private notes for yourself. You can email your notes to everyone at the end of the lesson, and students and parents can also access them through the student portal. All of these features and more are included in your My Music Staff membership at only $14.95 a month. Start your free trial today at mymusicstaff.com.